Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Hello, Mr. Jose Carlos, good evening. Hello, Fausto, hello. Hello, good evening, Kevin. Welcome, um, Jose Walter too. Hello, Janetti. Carla, welcome. How are you today? How are you today? Good, bad, so so. So so, so oh, I am sick. I am sorry, me. Oh, you mm -hmm. have the flu. I am sorry, yes. Miss. Let me know if you Thank can participate, you. okay? If not, let me know. You can participate in the chat too, okay? Okay, pero, teacher. Pero usted me avisa. Yes, I, I will be, okay. yeah, okay? Let me know. Thank you. No problem. Welcome, Miss Esmeralda. Okay, so we're about to start. Thank you for being here. Today is the last day for classes, right? Until next week. Eh, so, como ustedes saben, ahora es, pues, última día de semana. We are in the third week. Okay, ya estamos en nuestra tercera semana. Y next week, we finish. Okay, next Thursday, we finish um, this module. Okay, so we are almost done. I hope you are finishing with the platform. Espero que vamos avanzando y terminando ya esa plataforma. Uh, because, yeah, the rest of the topics are super easy. El resto de los temas, aparte de lo que vimos el día de ayer, ya, pues ya están super fáciles, que es la time, uh, some prepositions, and then that's it, okay? And always, if you have any questions, you can text me, you know that. Si recuerden siempre que tengan alguna duda o pregunta, me pueden escribir y yo con gusto les voy a apoyar, ¿ok? Para ir avanzando en la plataforma, porque queremos terminarlo like soon as possible, ¿ok? So, if you have any questions, remember that you can text me, ¿ok? Questions so far about anything about the class of the platform. No sé si tienen alguna duda o pregunta hasta el momento. Acerca de la plataforma o acerca de la clase. I don't know. Something or no. We are good. Okay. So I think we are good. Let's start with the class then. Okay. Thank you everybody for being here. By the way, gracias a todos los que están ahorita. De verdad aprecio eso. So thank you very much. Okay. So we are going to continue with English Principiante Módulo 1. Today it is Thursday, June 15th. 2023 okay and today we are going to continue with the just no questions in the present continuous tense okay um so um right now we are going to continue with the topic from yesterday vamos a continuar un poco con el tema del día de ayer pero today we are going to base more in questions okay ahora el día de ahora nos vamos a basar un poco más en, en questions preguntas okay just to make it clear, solo para aclarar. Remember that we are un in unit number four, that is, it's called, I am not wearing boots, okay? This is the agenda, super short, and to a start. Uh, so, uh, yesterday we were learning the positive and negative sentences, okay? So what are we going to do right now? We are going to do a little bit of writing, okay? How are we going to do it? I am going to send you an, a link, okay? Let's voy a enviar un link. Give me one second. And then in the chat box, aquí en el chat, se los voy a enviar, okay? Ah, y también se los voy a enviar en, en WhatsApp. Just give me one second. Van a dar click a ese link y en ese link usted va a poder escribir. You're going to write a sentence. It can be in positive or negative, okay? Negative um, a statement for the present progressive. That was yesterday's topic, que era el tema del día de ayer. Ahí tienen el link. Ya se los voy a enviar también en WhatsApp. Just give me one second. And van a escribir ya sea una oración en positivo o en negativo utilizando el present progressive, ok? Let's do it. Let's try it. Vamos a intentarlo. Ya pueden ingresarlo. Uh, lo, aquí lo envié en, 
como se los dije en Zoom, pero ahorita se los mando en WhatsApp, solo le van a dar clic y ahí les va a aparecer que escriban una respuesta o enter and answer, así les va a aparecer. And so, um, ahí en los espacios en blanco escriben la oración en I will show you later y después yo se las voy a mostrar, las vamos a leer entre todo. Esta es, this is the page, let's go, you have it there. Okay, so you can click on that and I am going to be watching porque yo aquí voy a ir viendo que ustedes estén escribiendo sus sentences, okay? So, yeah. Nobody has entered nothing, so I'm waiting. Les aparece una palabrita y dice right now, right? Solo dan clic y you can start writing the sentences, ¿ok? It's anybody like in problem? No sé si pudieron ingresar porque no me parece ninguna oración. Hello. Oh, there. I have it. I have it. Ya, ya veo. Six answers. Miss, yo apenas me voy conectando porque tuve problemas con la app, pero no, no sé de qué, de qué están hablando. No problem, Miss. Aquí estamos. Voy a enviar el link otra vez. Le vas a dar clic al link. And uh, vas a escribir una oración acerca del tema del día de ayer, Miss. Puede ser en positivo o en negativo. Very good so far. Oh, nice. Muy bien hasta el momento, you guys. Después se las voy a mostrar. But right now, I'm going to give you one more minute so you can write something else. Le voy a dar unos minutos más. Para que puedan escribir un poquito más de oraciones. Porque I only have nine. Solo tengo nueve. Y aquí habíamos 12 people. Y habíamos 12. 12 personas. So, many people you can... Um, Right, ok, porque solo es de escribir una oración, nothing more. Ok, so let's go. Mm -mm -mm, I'm waiting, so no answers still. Oh, we have one more, tenemos una más. Aquí está, me dice, está aquí en WhatsApp y aquí está aquí. Uy, permítame, me dice que solo estaba enviando solo a Mr. Anel, pero para qué. Ahí está, for everyone. Uh, there, Mr. Oh, no problem, Mr. El tema, uh, it's like, for example, dices el sujeto, por ejemplo, I, y el verbo to be, am, y después un verbo con ing. Like, I am sleeping. They are dreaming. Y así. Present progressive. Ya vas a ver un montón de oraciones y te van a ayudar a practicar un poco. Very good, everybody. Wow. You're writing sentences. That's awesome. Pueden escribir más de una, okay? You don't have to write only one. Pueden escribir más. Because remember, it's important to write and also speak pick a little bit okay so you can then you can do many more wow i have 15 answers wow that's awesome also on whatsapp i mean whatsapp let me a link so you could use it No problem, Carla. Don't worry. Don't worry. We are practicing. Today we are going to do another practice of that. So don't worry. I am writing now. Really? 
Oh, yeah, I saw it already. No, but don't worry. Okay, let me show you the answers that you have. Okay, so these are the answers that you sent me. That's awesome. You did very, very good, you guys. So, and so you're going to help me to read. Can you help me to read, please? Rebecca, can you help me with the first two sentences right here, please? Rebecca, help me to read. A leer, please, Rebecca. Um, aquí estoy, miss. Okay, me ayudas a leer, please? Here. My dog is... Mm -hmm. Sleeping. Yeah. She is eating pupusas. Excellent. Thank you. Kevin, help me, please. You are teaching me mm -hmm. and I am not sleeping now. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's go with Jose Walter. Help me here, mister. Oh, aquí creo que es starting. Uh, I am walking. Uh -huh. Working. Uh-huh. They are a, a stream English. A studying, a studying. A studying English. Excellent. Thank you, Jose Walter. Let's go. Next one. Help me to read, please, Jose Carlos. I am not playing soccer. I like it right now. Ah, but here, remember what is happening. What's the correct uh, way to say it, mister? I am. Ah. Right now. Exactly. Thank you, Jose Carlos. Let's go with the next ones. Mr. Fausto, help me here, please. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It moved. It moved. Alguien escribió, so that's why. But that's okay. Okay, here okay. now. I am a student. You are teaching, teaching me. Yeah, aunque se lo habían leído. But very good, Mr. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go next one. Help me, please, Eric, with those. ¿Me ayudas con esas? I am working. Uh-huh. I am not doing stuff. Uh -huh. I am a student. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with the uh, last one. Uh, can you help me, please? A volunteer to help me to read the last ones. Can me ayuda a leer, like, last ones? Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Okay, last ones, las últimas, please. The teacher is speaking. Mm -hmm. I am not playing soccer. Mm -hmm. We are studying. Mm -hmm. I am not sleeping now. Excellent. Thank you, Rebecca. Very, very good. Is it correct to say this? Está bien acá? Hmm. Can you help me? What's the correct like spelling for that word? ¿Cuál sería la, la deletreo like perfect? Creo que es studying, pero ¿cómo sería lo correcto? Can you help me, please? Who helped me with that studying? Studying. Uh, but in English, can you say it? Spell it. Lo vas a deletrar en English. Every. S D U M D A. But the correct one? Um, uh, y uh -huh. and G. I and G. Exactly. We are studying, right? Thank you. Very good, Mr. Eric. Very good, very good. Okay, so that was for yesterday's class, right? That we were learning the positive and the negatives. Eso era lo del tema de ayer que estábamos diciendo que para las positivas pues utilizamos el sujeto, el verbo to be, un verbo con ing y algo para complementar. Y en las negativas pues solo le agregamos el not. Super easy. And who remembers when do we use the present progressive? Who remembers? ¿Quién se acuerda para qué? For what do we use it? What do we express? ¿Qué era lo que expresamos con el present progressive? Volunteer to tell me, please. 
Oh, Alejandra, hello. Hola. Hola. Tell me. Yo siempre tenía problemas para ingresar. Oh, so, eh, sí, ya vi que varios. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Una acción que se está realizando en ahora. Ajá. Uh -huh. Or. O en un futuro o después. Exactly, very good. Yes, Jose Carlos, you were going to say something. Tell me, tell me, dime. No importa que repitas. Don't worry. Tell me. Exactly. To right speak. Now and the future. Exactly. To speak about right now and the future. Para hablar acerca del right now, right now, right now, and the future. So that's perfect. Okay. Thank you for remembering that to us. Now, today we are going to continue with that, but we are going with the questions, as I told you at the beginning. So, with the questions, we are only going to study yes, no questions, okay? Vamos a practicar un poco acerca de las yes, no questions que son similares a las del verbo to be, okay? So, solo la pregunta cambia, pero la respuesta se queda igual al verbo to be. So, we are going to watch and study them, okay? Vamos a verlas acá en la presentación y la vamos a practicar después, okay? So, first of all, in the question, we need the verb to be. Then we need the subject. Then we need the gerund, and obviously, always remember the question mark, okay, in the question. So, for example, the verb to be, who remembers the three verbs to be that we have? Can you tell me which ones are? Um, are, uh -huh. um, is. Excellent. So, we have the three verbs to be, um, are, and is. Then the subjects, for example, for I... Which ones are, it's the subject, everybody? Um, I? Exactly, it's I. Oh, where? And are you, we, and they? And for the is, utilizamos el he, she, el it, ¿verdad? Para preguntas. Y después utilizamos un gerund, un gerund, right? Like, for example, we can say, por ejemplo, podemos decir, are you... Surfing. Y aquí tenemos nuestro ING, right? Are you surfing? And then here we have the picture. In this case, it would be, in este caso, como es affirmation, we can say, yes, I am. Oh, no. Do you remember the negative for the verb to be? Who remembers? No, I am. I am not, exactly. Or I'm not. Uh, oh, no, I'm not. In fact, right now I am going to show you the different types of answers, okay? So this is the affirmative and the negative form, okay? We have in the contracted and the complete form. Affirmative, for example, when we want to say, are you? So we are going to answer in this way. Cuando nos estén preguntando como entre dos personas, ¿verdad? Y estamos corroborando información. Podemos decir, yes, I am. O no, I am not. Con el we, yes, we are. O no, we aren't. Con el they sería, yes, they are. No, they aren't. Con el you, como comprobando alguna actividad, sería, yes, you are. O no, you aren't. For a she, he, and it. For a she, he. Yes, she is. Or no, he isn't, for example. Aquí está esa, la ponen contractada, pero sería she, ¿verdad? Y de ahí tenemos yes, it is. Or no, it isn't. Okay? Then, uh, those are the answers. And I, for example, if I say, digamos, por ejemplo, yo les digo, hmm, are we... Are we listening right now? ¿Cómo podría ser la respuesta? Are we? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. O oh, in, in negative will be no. No, we are. No, we are. No, exactly. Very good. And what about if I say, if I say, are you hmm, drinking water? ¿Cuáles son las possible answers? ¿Cómo podrían ser las respuestas posibles? Ahí, de right there. Yes, I am. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, I am. 
Oh, um, no, I am not. Exactly, no, I am not. Exactly, thank you. What about if we say, y digamos que yo les digo, is, y vamos a poner un nombre, is Fausto, Fausto, hmm, swimming? We're talking about him, oh. right? Uh huh, no? He is, he is not. He is positive? Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Exactly. Very good. And what about if we have, um, hmm, we say, is she, is she? No, listening, we have it. Can you tell me one verb with ING, please? It's my teacher from San Mmm. Very good, mister. Okay, but that's a verb to be questioned. Esa sería una verb to be questioned. Pero un, un verbo con ING. For example, is, is she dying in San Miguel? <laughs> is, I'm sorry? Is my teacher living in San Miguel? Ah, that's a good one. I would say dying because it's super hot here. Living in San Miguel? Yeah, is she living? living in San Miguel? Okay, the answers. How can that be, like, the answers over here, everybody? She is not. Oh, oh yes, she is. Uh-huh, yes, she is. Or no, she is not. Or she is, en verdad. Cualquiera de estas. ¿Por qué? Porque estábamos utilizando en la pregunta she is. Si hubiera ido, habido un nombre, pues sería, vea, igual. En las respuestas, por ejemplo, acá vamos a poner my name, right? Because I'm from Samuel. Uh, is my teacher or is Miss Alvarado? We are going to put Miss Alvarado living in Samuel. Ahora, aunque diga el nombre, ok, Miss Alvarado o el apellido, whatever, siempre para la respuesta vamos a utilizar yes, she is o no, she isn't, ok. Igual que acá con Fausto, miren, él decía Fausto, pero en el sujeto utilizamos y para responder el he, porque es un boy, ¿verdad? Just as a reminder, solo como recordatorio. Do we have any questions so far? Questions, questions? Okay, I'm gonna do some questions then, okay? Let's start with Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos, are you watching Netflix right now? No, I'm not. Okay, what are you watching? Nothing. I watch my I watch my, my telephone. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Alejandra. Uh huh. Let's see. Are you are you listening to the class? Yes, I am. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Eric. Are you hmm? Are you thinking in English? Oh, no, I'm going to change it. Lo vamos a cambiar, Eric. Are you dancing bachata? Tengo un poco mal de señal. No sé si puede repetir, por favor. No problem, mister. Are you dancing bachata? Dancing bachata. No sé si la puedes ver en la presentación, mister. Are you dancing bachata? Oh, no me escuchas, Eric. Oh, no, creo que tienes problemas. No worries, Eric. No te preocupes, Eric. Fausto, are you... Are you... Writing? Uh, yes, I am. Ah, excellent. Thank you. Let's go, Jose Walter. Are you playing right now? Playing. Playing soccer. Uh, playing soccer, mister. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Are you playing soccer right now? Estás jugando soccer? Soccer? En este momento, no. I don't. Uh, so... Pero sí oh, pero en el futuro, pero en el futuro sí vas a jugar. 
Uh, en el futuro sí vas a jugar, por ejemplo, el Sunday yes. or Saturday. Yes, sí. yes. Ok, entonces, vaya. Entonces, yes. are, are you playing soccer in Saturday? Eh, el sábado. Sería. Yes, I am. Eh, solo, no, no, solo vas a decir no. yes, I am. En este tipo de preguntas, mister, como solo es de yes y no, no tienes que decir más cosas. Vamos ah, a aprender okay. la otra manera que sí vas a tener que dar explicación, pero acá solo yes or no. Yes, I am. No, no. I am not. En este caso, porque, porque es el you, ¿verdad? Y ahí nomás, mister. That's perfect. Okay. 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 Thank you. Let's go with Carla, Carla Marina. Are no, you no, okay? Um, do you have do you have kids? Yes, right or no? No. Oh, do you have a mother with you or your father with you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, is your mother watching TV? Yes, she is. Ah, nice. What about you, Carla Rivera? Voy a pasar a la whiteboard. Give me one second. Carla Rivera eh, is. Wait a second. Are you? No, are we? Are we learning present progressive? Yes, we are. Excellent. Thank you, Carla. Kevin, are we? Hmm. <coughs> Are we let's watch a TV? Mm, no, we are. No, no, we not. No, we are? not. We are not, right? No, we are not. Okay, thank you. Monica, hello, Miss. Welcome. Hi. Hi. How are you, Miss? I'm uh, fine. That's good. Miss, are you texting right now? <laughs> no, I am not. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Very good. And Rebecca. Rebecca, do you have you have a son, right, Rebecca? Or no? I remember that somebody has a son here. Rebecca, do you have a son or no? Oh, it's my in my head. Mm, yes. Okay. I, okay. Is your son playing? Yes, he. Mm -hmm. He is. Exactly. Perfect, Miss. Yes, he is. Y por qué he is? Porque estamos hablando del son, right? That's perfect. Do we have any questions? Right now, questions, questions, or no questions? Okay, so what are we going to do? Right now, we are going to do a little bit of practice, okay? What it's going to be the practice. We are going to write three questions for our classmates. Vamos a escribir tres preguntas para nuestros compañeros, okay? Like this, whatever you want to ask. Cualquier cosa que ustedes deseen preguntar. But remember, please, please remember to use the ing form of the verb, okay? Recordemos utilizar esto. When you finish writing the sentences, please send them on WhatsApp so I can check them out. Cuando terminamos de escribir esas tres preguntas, recuerden de utilizar el ing. Por favor, las envíen en WhatsApp porque las voy a chequear, okay? It's super important that I can check them. So, yeah, send them. Or you can send them here in the chat box of Zoom. O también las pueden enviar aquí en el, en el chat de Zoom, okay? Y pueden ser preguntas como, por ejemplo, are you, así como les estaba haciendo yo, are you sleeping, okay? Are you driving? Are you listening music? Are you playing soccer, are you playing in the cell phone, and like that, okay? Just the question, solo la pregunta, sí. Exactly, Miss, are you eating lasagna? Three questions, okay, let's do it. I'm gonna give you three minutes so you can 
work on this. Les voy a dar tres minutos para que podamos like work in the in this, okay? <laughs> Excellent, Miss. <laughs> the last one, so say Carlos. Uh, am I studying maybe? Am I, give me one second, I think I can answer, oh yeah. Am I, yeah, yeah right. Uh, Do you, uh-huh. Oh, very good, Miss Rebecca. Mister, have you been here before in San Miguel? Yes, I live in... Uh, really? Huh? I, yes, I, I, live in, I live in San Miguel oh. every Friday. Oh, you and live I in live Friday in, here? Yeah, I live in Alegreos every Saturday and the... Sunday the, you come back to Sunday, San Salvador. So, no, to Metapan. Ah, oh, I get it. I, I, I work in now. Oh, and that's nice, mister. So you know chatos, that's why. <laughs> you know, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. I never been to chatos, so I, I just know the uh, name. Uh -huh. Yeah, I never been uh, to chatos. Yeah, but I'm going to go someday okay. there. Uh -huh. So yeah, <laughs> that's good. Nice, mister. So, Eric, are you eating? Está perfect. Pero la next one, is your cell phone working? Tu teléfono funciona. Puedes decir working, okay? Okay, Eric. Am I listening to the class maybe in El Verde? Okay. Okay. Are we learning English? Is the teacher playing? Oh, no, it's solo de acá. Are we going to the park? Are we studying English? Mm -hmm. Very good. Are you cooking right now? Wait, some of Are you sleeping? Are uh, you running around? Yes, perfect. Um. Uh, Are you are are we are we playing basketball, Mister Mister Jose Walter? Es que cambia de lugar. Por ejemplo, si al principio era we, ahora vas a poner are era are. Is she renting renting an apartment, maybe? Are you living in Washington? Washington. Oh, are you watching? Creo que quiso poner que lo que pase. Este, eso es algo. Watching TV. Eso es algo que les iba a decir. You can start trying. Pueden empezar a intentar pasando su teléfono a, a inglés. También hay una sección en el teléfono, sinceramente no sé cómo ahorita todavía, que pueden poner como varios idiomas, porque yo así lo tengo. Varios idiomas um, que, que pueden estar cambiando para que el texto, para que si el texto se vaya acostumbrando, que ustedes ponen medio una palabrita y ya les sale. Y eso les va a ayudar. Ok, it's going to help, be help, helpful in your cell phone. Are they getting problems? Okay, you're doing a good job. Thank you, very good, Janetty. Very good, Rebecca. Excellent, Esmeralda. Very good, eh, Rebecca. Okay, I think. Yay, I know. Sí, el, porque el corrector, este, sí. 
este lo va, le va a pasar todo a español cuando ustedes traten de escribir un mensaje en inglés. Entonces, por eso les recomiendo que, eh, que ¿cómo se llama? Pase, pongan ahí el otro idioma de English to your cell phones, ¿ok? You can try it. Lo pueden intentar. It will be very helpful, ¿ok? Les va a funcionar mucho. What are we going to do right now? I'm going to put you in teams. Los voy a poner en grupos, ¿ok? And you have to try to do the questions. Tienen que intentar hacer las preguntas, ¿ok? Just give me one second. Ooh, what did I do? Ok. So, voy a poner algunos oyentes. Los que tienen oyentes, pues, no, they are not going to participate. No van a poder participar. Solo just listen, right? Just give me one second so I can add you para poder agregarlos. And wait a second. Okay, there we have it. Um, so I am going to open the teams. Okay, voy a agregar, a abrir los grupos. Please accept the invitation. Acepten la invitación. Ahí le va a salir un cuadrito, solo le dan a aceptar. You will have exactly five minutes. Solo van a tener cinco minutitos, okay? So, please be ready. Oh, no, I found something. Okay, so, please do it as fast as you can. Traten de hacer lo más que pueda, okay? Y si termina, try to do more questions. Y si terminan, traten de hacer más preguntas. No se me queden calladitos. Because I know you can do this, okay? Porque yo sé que ustedes pueden hacer muchísimas más preguntas, okay? Para practicar. So let's do it. I'm going to give you five minutes starting now. Accept the invitation, please, everybody. Accept, accept. No, I am not. No. Are you sleeping right now? Repeat, please. Are you sleeping right now? No, I am not. Uh, are you running? Uh, no. No, I am not. Uh, are you studying English in this moment? Yes, I am. Okay. Thank you. Uh, nice. Yes. Tenemos problemas. Really? What <laughs> happened? I thought no, you were no practicing. Se, no se, casi no nos escuchamos entre nosotros. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Eh, estaba preguntando si es válida esta pregunta. Eh, perdón que no lo haga en inglés, pero... Pero sí, uh, are you favorite sport? Oh, uh, maybe, puede ser. Are you playing? Are you playing your favorite sport? Okay. Are you playing? Porque vamos a utilizar verbos con ing. Remember that, okay? Are you playing your favorite sport? Sí, lo había colocado el ing en el sport. Ah, no, no, no. Sport es un objeto. No le puedes agregar ING. ¿Ok? okay. Solo okay. los verbos, acciones. ¿Ok? Playing, running, jumping y así. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, let's go. ¿Y José Walter y José Carlos? No. No finish. Hasta ahorita. Hasta ahorita voy es escuchando. Que... No, yo perdí el sonido. Es que casi no se le escuchaba. Ajá. Casi okay. no se le escuchaba. But right now, yeah. Ok. You still have one more minute. Tiene un minuto, but let's do it. Let's try it. Are you play?
Do you finish? Creo que sí. Yeah. Mónica, you practice, Mónica. Mónica, practice. Mónica, ya le hice otras preguntas porque le acabo de agregar. Tuvimos un pequeño inconveniente. Se me había quedado solita. So I don't know if she practice. Mm, okay, she, maybe she had troubles. Let's give me, give me one, well, minutes, 35 seconds. Yeah. Do you finish? Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's go back. Vamos a regresar. Thank you. Okay, we're back. Okay, we are going to wait a second. Maybe the rest would join. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for the rest. I don't know what is happening for the rest. Give me one second because I don't know. Oh, six seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay, now everybody's here. Perfect. What happened? ¿Qué pasó? Este, recuerden que cuando terminamos de practicar y tengamos ahí todavía un minutito, un tiempecito, debemos de tratar de crear, de, de, de improvisar. Are you sleeping? Are you eating? Este, bueno, en este caso, el tema, vea, para práctica, ¿ok? Because it's super important to practice, ¿ok, you guys? Yes, Rebecca, tell me. Eh, yo tengo una pregunta, Miss, como por ejemplo cuando uno le quiere preguntar a alguien de, digamos, qué tipo de música le gusta usando el ING, por ejemplo. Ok. Like it, like it, no sé si es así o estoy en... Okay, no, no problem is, yes, you can do that question. Este, si puedes hacerlo con el ING. Like for example, puedes decir, are you listening to rock music? Digamos, vea que sea rock music. Or maybe puedes preguntarle, are you listening to, are you, sorry, listening, hmm, bachata? Ok, para preguntar el tipo de música, ¿verdad? eso sería una forma, pero esa otra forma, por ejemplo, eh, sería con la WH question. What kind, que vamos a estudiar el lunes, me parece, sí, el lunes. What kind of music are you listen, listening to? Ok, sería así. Siempre con el ING, pero tienes que poner esto, what kind of music, antes de la pregunta. ¿Por qué? Porque le preguntas qué tipo de música tú estás escuchando, lo que tú quieres saber. En cambio, acá con el ahorita lo, tema de ahorita, tienes que preguntar diferentes tipos. Like, are you listening to bachata? Are you listening to reggaeton? Are you listening to pop? Y así. En cambio, mm. por... Uh -huh. so, por ejemplo, cuando uno quiere decir, tú estás viendo anime. Oh, are you watching anime? Okay. Uh -huh. Are you watching anime? Yeah, it would be like that. Mm -hmm. No problem. And that's perfect. Let's see. Right now, I want to listen to some of you. Well, everybody's going to speak. Let's start with Miss Monica. Miss Monica, could you practice? Please practice, Monica. Yes. Oh, perfect. Tell me. Two questions and the two answers that you got. 
Que le haga dos preguntas. No, tell me the, ans the questions and the answers. Solo dime las preguntas and the answers, respuestas, ¿ok? Ok, are you eating lasaña? Ajá. Uh -huh. I am not. Esa fue una de las que me preguntaron. Ah, no, pero las que, no, las que tú hiciste, Mónica. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, eh, please, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Solo logré hacer una. Oh, okay. Este, are you crying right now? Okay. No, I'm not for the respuesta. Pero, pero tenía dos compañeros. Los dos se dijeron no, I'm not. No, de hecho, en ese momento se cerró. El... Oh, I'm sorry, Miss. No problem, Mónica, no problem. Let's go with Alejandra. Alejandra, tell me two questions and the two answers. Bueno, eh, le dice Ariel, are you running in the morning? Uh -huh. Y él me contestó, no, I am not. Oh, perfect. And? Y a Mónica, fue la, la única, bueno, alguna de las preguntas que le hice uh -huh. fue, eh, are you eating lasaña? Y ella dijo, no, I am not. Oh, okay, perfect, thank you. Don't worry, that's okay, but at least you practice. Pero lo bueno es que practicamos, right? That's super important. Eric, let's go. Two questions and the answer, mister. Sí, este, la que yo hice fue, mm -hmm. are you eating? La respuesta fue, no, I am not. Ajá, uh -huh. and? Y, are you sleeping? La respuesta fue no, I am not. Oh, very good. That's okay. But you practice. That's awesome, okay? Thank you, mister. Let's go, Fausto. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Pregunté, are you watching YouTube? Mm -hmm. And one answer. Yes. Um, I am not. Yes. And two answer. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, yeah. very good. Thank you, uh, Mr. And, yes, no. and the next one, tell me the next one. Dime la siguiente. Uh, are, you, are, are we a student in English? Mm -hmm. uh, ambas respuestas. Yes, I am. Okay, very good, Mr. Thank you for sharing your questions and the answers. That was perfect. Let's go, Kevin. Tell me. Uh, uh, are you cooking now? Uh huh. And the uh, and yes, I am. Okay. No, I am. Mm -hmm. And and a, mm -hmm. are you watching TV? Mm -hmm. I am not. No, I am not. Uh, okay. So look, one answer. Uh, two answers. No, okay. I am not. And what was the other answer? No, I am not. O, o solo tuviste con Rebeca, right? Y... No. Carla. Creo que con, con ella dos, creo. Ajá, uh -huh. okay, okay. Very good, thank you. Eh, Jose Walter, tell me. Eh, eh, are you play soccer? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, one, are not, I am. Uh -huh. Y one, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Eh, uh -huh. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. uh, are you watching TV? Uh -huh. uh, one, I don't know. Uh, no, no, I am not. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Yes, I am. One. Yes, I am or no, I am not. Yes. In number two. Dos, un, uno y uno. Ah, uno okay. Y uno, uno y uno. Okay, perfect. Thank you, mister. Very good. Yes. Carla, tell me the two questions and the answers, please. Uh, are you running right now? Mm hmm the answer uh, both person uh, no i am not oh perfect and uh, are you playing the piano uh -huh. uh, the both person no i am not okay very good thank you let in the last one but not the least jose carlos tell me the two questions and the answer are you cooking now mm -hmm. uh, one answer is yes, I am, and the other no, I am not. Mm -hmm. And the other, and the and the other question, I can I can hear uh, uh, my 
my compañeros. Your co your co your classmates, sorry, your classmates. My, my classmates, I can hear. I oh, can hear. that's sad, Mister. Don't worry, that. But you practice one question. That was excellent. Okay. Right now we have one more practice. Okay, the last practice for this topic. I'm going to show it to you. Wait a second. Oh, where is it? Okay, here. So we have one more practice for everybody here. Okay, you have to be ready because we are going to see some questions. I know, here. Give me one second. So here, we have, this is a present progressive. We have the questions, okay? And it says, answer the questions about you. And we have, yes, I am. No, I am not. I don't know. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay, so here everything. Are you reading? And we have the answer. Yes, I am. Okay, in this one, the question is. Are you eating? What will be the answer, everybody? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, I, I am. am. According to the picture, right? Because there you have a picture. Okay, what about this one? Are you singing? Yes, I am. I, I, but it's, it, mm, okay. I think it's according to you. Wait, yes, it's according to you. Are you eating right now? No, it's de acuerdo a ustedes. So, entonces, are you eating right now? No es de acuerdo a la imagen, es de acuerdo a ustedes. Are you eating? No, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. <laughs> exactly, no, nobody is eating. What about, are you singing right now? No, I am not. I am not. Nobody is singing. Are you crying? No, no I am not. No, I am not. Mm -hmm. no, I am not. Are you dancing? No, no I am not. No, I am not. Mm -hmm. What about, are you listening to music? No, I am no, not. I am not. No, I am not. Exactly. Dancing in the class. Yeah, listening to the class, not to music. Exactly. <laughs> then we have here, and it says, make questions for the next actions. So here we have, for example. Are you singing? And so we have them. this person singing and he says yes i am so this one yes perfect oh it in the question mark are you eating it is it yes are you eating exactly yes i am what about are this you dancing? are you dancing are they, dancing. Are they dancing oh what do you say what? <laughs> so what did i listen to are you dancing excellent what about number four are, are, you you swimming? Swimming? are you swimming? Uh-huh. Are you? Oh, sorry. Swimming. Let's see. Are you running? Are you running? Wow. Are you running? And no, I am not. Let's hit Terminado to see how it goes for you. Wow. We got a tent. Yay. Everybody got a tent with this practice. That's awesome. <laughs> Very good, so yes. But we have one more practice, okay? And the practice is with a little bit of, listen, just keep listening, sorry. Give me one second. Okay, so in page, this is on page 27, okay? We have this page after that that we did yesterday. We have, again, the present continuous, just no questions. And we have the different answers. Y aquí en el manual, pues tenemos las preguntas y las respuestas. Here, these questions are about the last picture. Estas preguntas son acerca de la last picture. Pero ahorita vamos a hacer esto. The listening section, okay? Give me one second. So, we are going to listen. Vamos a acercarlo un poco. Ahí tienen. It says here, listen, write, write the names Bruce, Beth, John, Anita, and Nick. And so... We are going to write the names here, okay? You're going to tell me later. Me van a decir después, solo un segundo. Wait. Oh, no. No se puede compartir everything. Un segundo, quiero ver esto. Me agobio la tecnología por, por ratos. Okay. So, you're going to listen and you're going to write who these persons are, ok? Este, vamos a escuchar el audio y vamos a escribir después quién es cada una de estas cinco personitas que se miran por ahí, ok? So listen to this audio. 27, exercise 10. ¿Sí escuchan? Listening. Yes or no? He's wearing okay. a t-shirt. Part A. Listen. Write the names Bruce, Beth, 
John, Anita, and Nick in the correct boxes. Bruce, hi. You look great. Hi, Beth. That's a beautiful jacket. I just love light brown. It's my favorite color. Thanks. You look good, too. Your purple pants and jacket are really, uh, cool. Thank you. So, who's here? Hmm, let's see. Well, there's John. He's really nice. Where's John? He's over there. He's wearing black pants and a white shirt. Who's John with? The woman in the blue blouse and gray skirt? That's Anita. Anita? Yeah, she's very funny. Oh, look at Nick. He's wearing shorts and a cap. He's wearing a t-shirt, too. Nick's clothes are, um, interesting. Okay, so who is well, Bruce? We know, we know it's Bruce, right? Because here we have the name, right? Aquí estamos looking at Bruce, this person right here. But then who is Beth? Who is Beth with these pictures? With the first the, person. Which one? The first person. Oh, the one with long hair? Here? Yeah. So yes. So is it Beth? Okay. What about John? Who is John? John is wearing the white t-shirt. Okay. The white t-shirt. Okay. Here. Okay. John. Oh, I'm sorry. And who is Anita? Who is Anita? This is the first song wearing the mm -hmm. blue. blue skirt. Okay. Blue, blue skirt. Uh -huh. She is wearing, right? Uh -huh. She's wearing a blue, blue, skirt. blue skirt and blue, well, light blue sweater, maybe. Mm -hmm. And Nick, and Nick. He's wearing cap. Okay, yes, he's wearing a cap. Excellent. So very good. This is these are the answers. Nick uh, and Anita and John, right? Uh, do you listen to some activities in the audio? Se acuerdan de algunas actividades que mencionaron? Or do you want to listen again to the audio? To remember the activities. Or no, do you remember any activities? Uh, and the new um, interest uh, clothes. Ah, uh, they are interesting clothes. No, but what about the... the... Uh -huh. uh, he needs. He needs clothes. No, need. Uh -huh. Need? Uh -huh. What happened with... Uh -huh. In clothes. Yes. Ah, very good. But what activities are they doing? ¿Qué actividades están haciendo? Do you remember? Utilizando la ING or no? You don't remember. Drinking. Ah, they... Nick, hearing. Ah. Uh, Nick is talking hearing in this moment. Okay. Talking. Uh -huh. They are, okay. They are talking. Uh -huh. What else? Drinking, hearing. Ah, they are drinking, they are eating. Excellent. Anything else? Speaking. Ah, oh, they are uh, speaking. Excellent. I smiling. Think, ah, they are maybe smiling. Sonriendo, right? So very good. Uh, so those are the activities that they were doing. Esas eran algunas de las actividades que ellos estaban realizando. Very good so far, everybody. And so that will be for today's topic, okay? And for today's class, eso sería para la clase del día de ahora. Very good job, everybody. You did super good. Lo hicieron super bien. Thank you for practicing a lot. Gracias a todos por siempre participar. And... So we are going to stay here. Nos vamos a quedar por acá. And we are going to continue on Monday. Okay. Vamos a quedarnos por acá y vamos a continuar el día lunes. Okay. 
Remember to finish the section number five with the final exam. Recuerden terminar la sección número cinco junto con el examen, ¿ok? Tan pronto como puedan, antes del día jueves de la otra semana. Súper antes, ¿ok? Yes, Rebeca, tell me. Miss, fíjese que yo estaba trabajando en esta actividad. De ese acabar de la foto que acaba de poner oh, ahí, de, uh -huh. de Nicky y todos ellos, ¿va? Yes. Y ese que donde pregunta del sunglass, de que si Nick está usando son gafas o gafas de sol. Uh -huh. eh, como yo veo que no son gafas de sol, ¿va? sino que son como glass. Uh -huh. Entonces yo puse que he, no, he's not. Y uh -huh. no me la aceptó la, la respuesta. Eh, se supone que son respuestas cortas va de yes, yes, he's, yes, he's, yes o oh yes y eso, algo así va ajá. Eh, en esa mis eh, más que todo la contraction este es el ejercicio oh, yo no me acuerdo qué ejercicio es mi Uh, wait, aquí los estoy viendo ahorita Pero en la lección 4 está ajá. ok, 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 ya le voy a Give me one second. Sí, porque me recuerdo que ese es eh, más que todo en la contraction, es alemana, uh -huh. igual que en, en este, en la section five, va a haber una sección que no sé, pero el sonido no se entiende. Para mí, yo estaban contando monedas y creo que no es así, no me recuerdo ni qué sonido es, porque hay una parte que van a ver un video, no, no es un video, es un audio que tiene sonidos. And so, es bien difícil de reconocerlo. So, si tienen problemas, me escriben, ¿ok? Porque yo les voy, en las últimas más que todo, está un poco like hard to identify. Oh, I found it, Miss. Pero eh, esta, creo que el ejercicio 4 me dijo, será esto. Un segundo, lo vamos a mostrar. La lesson 4, parece. La lesson 4, aquí tengo la lesson 4, la 411. Mm -hmm. Será esta. El, la, después de esa, sí. Mm, ok, so this one then. Oh, yeah, extra. Mm -hmm. Vaya, yeah. vamos. Let me see. Sí, mis, vaya. Acá, y de hecho, cuando les envíe las respuestas, eso es otra cosa, porque yo sé que ustedes lo intentan y me mandan el intento. That's awesome. Y muy bien, ok. Miren los diferentes tipos de respuestas que ustedes pueden dar. Una es, yes, he is, con el punto, que no le falte eso. O, aquí le ponen, o, oh, yes, he is, sin la coma y sin el punto. O, yes, he is, con punto y coma, y así. Estos son los diferentes tipos de respuestas que va a aceptar el sistema. Si ya no le acepta ninguna de estas, avísenme, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque nosotros lo que hacemos es que avisamos a, a un gestor y el gestor nos va a ayudar a corregir el sistema porque, vea, por un punto cuesta a veces. Entonces, avíseme cuando no les agarren ninguna de las que yo les envío. ¿Cuál es mis, la de glasses aquí? La no, de glasses. Y uh -huh. aquí dice, no, he is not. No, he is not. Todas, bueno, y esta otra, no, he isn't. No, he is not. No, he isn't. Y así. Ajá. No, he's not. Puse, pero no me la aceptó. De veras. Voy a intentar con otras a ver si me las acepta. Ok, mi, si no me avisa y con gusto le apoyamos, ¿ok? Bye, está bien. Ok, no problem. Ok, so, any other questions? ¿Alguna otra duda? Or no questions. If you have any questions, remember that you can text me as well. Recuerden que siempre igual me pueden escribir. And thank you for being here. I really appreciate that. Gracias a todos por venir el día de ahora. De verdad, lo aprecio mucho y espero, I hope to see you Monday, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Good <laughs> Take night. care. Good night, good night. Good night everybody. Good Take night. care. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.